Yeah. <laughs> me, me and banana bread is like a crackhead of uh, yeah. cocaine. Housekeeping, you want the loaf? <laughs> Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode on the channel, jumping into some more DOJRP. We are jumping in here as Cody Dutton. We're going to go open the Grove Street LTD here in just a few minutes. We are going to have, I believe, two more individuals with us, Matt and Logan. Uh, we for sure have Matt with us. He's in the uh, in the Discord call with me as we speak. Um, and I believe Logan will be there at the store later. Um, we should we, we It should be pretty busy. we got a pop-in server tonight. So with that being said, we need to go get gas and we need to get over to the store. So I will see you guys at the LTD. Alrighty, so we have arrived at the LTD. It looks like we are the first ones to make it here. So we'll go ahead and hop into the store here and um we'll 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 wait for Matt to get here before we go ahead and open up the store just because the last time I opened up the store on my own, I got robbed like instantaneously. It was crazy. I think that was the same night that uh, that crackhead was throwing Molotovs at the gas pumps blew us all to hell no i had uh i had logan with me then but yeah it's just it's bound to happen like right off the rip so we're gonna wait for matt to get here and then we'll go ahead and open the store hey my uh my mom made a a, a, a shit ton of banana bread oh and i i've been eating banana bread for like two days and i can't get through these like she made me like three pans of banana bread. Jesus. say less <laughs> Oh, you, Dude, do you guys do you guys want a pan? I'll go grab them. I'll go hold on. Okay, hold okay. On. okay. I'll, I'll bring them in. Thank you. <laughs> I just I That's... can't get through this shit fast. Enough. Me me and banana bread is like a crackhead to uh yeah. Cocaine. I'm not even gonna sell it to you like a like a like a pastor at a gas station. Oh well that's that's even better. Oh goodness. This dude so looks good. hammered. Oh it Nah, he just looks like um, he's, he's got PJ pants on. What up, man? Did you just wake up? Hey. I've been up for like three days anyways. Oh my god, you look hammered, brother. I got uh, six 40-ounce beers, three cans of vegetable soup, and a bag of corn. All right, you got some ID for that beer? Yeah. All righty, what a name. I like uh, that. Thank you, thank you. Luciano? Also, let me let me get a bottle of your whiskey. Okay. One of the green ones and one of the champagne as well. All right, here's and, your uh, ID three, back. And three packs of Redwoods as well, the gold ones. Yeah, I can take the uh, loaves. Yeah, there you go. There's two. There's two full loaves in there. They should be. They should be all right. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got the champagne, the whiskey, the three packs of Redwood Golds, six forties, three cans of soup, and what was the other thing? Oh, and a bag, a of, bag corn. of corn. Alrighty, that that's gonna come up to uh, 120 bucks. Damn. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Homie said, "Damn." Alrighty, sir. You Here's your receipt. You have an LTD day. So, as you guys can tell, Luke came through here looking just hammered. Oh, please don't hit my. Oh God, here he's coming back in. He he's just looking hammered. He got so much booze. Came in here, bought six forties, champagne, whiskey, three cans of corn, or three cans of soup, and a can of or in a bag of corn. Which one I got you? Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you. I I can take you over here. I, what you got? Uh, soda, apple, and then um, my friend wants a pack of I think it's Redwood Gold. Okay. Redwood Gold, Soda Apple, twenty six fifty. Register three four one. Awesome. Here's your receipt, Hello, you? and you have an LTD Hello. day. Thank you. Hey, do y'all got? Uh, do y'all got like uh like like those like those uh, twenty ounce sodas? Now we should over here. I'm sorry, you were. Oh, uh, you can go hold on. <laughs> My bad. Oh, these are the big boys. We got the cans, and it looks like we only have two liters right now. Uh, all right, that's fair. I grab a can then. I was gonna grab something to drink real quick while I was out. I got you. Got you. Excuse me, sorry. All right, J you. just that, just that can for you. Yeah, bro, that's it. All right, two seventy-five to three four one. All right, would you like your change? No, I'm good, bro. Appreciate you. All right, you have an LTD day. Hey, you too, bud. Hey, hey, we're back. Question for you, for you yeah, boys. What's, what's up? Are either one of you William Anderson? Champ? That is me. 
That's you. Yep. I don't know what's going on, man, but you're, you, you know what? Handle this guy. I'll talk to you guys afterwards. It's, it's, it's nothing big. Hey, hold hold just... on. Hold on. Look, look at me, officer. What? Dude, it what's looks that? like somebody clocked you in the side of the Ooh, face. Cool hey, man, can I uh, this Your left yeah. eye, like your left cheek is just all bruised and bloodied. Yes, you can. That'll be oh, well, 29. Looks like somebody smacked you in the side of the uh, face with a soldering iron. Uh, there's a 20. Uh, there's a 10, man. Just keep the change. Did, did it fix it? No, I didn't. I Is think it, you might have to no, uh, fix your uniform. Like, you know what I mean. You might have to reset your your uniform. Nope, it's still there. That's weird. It might just be my face. Well, well. There's worse Anyways, things. <laughs> for whatever reason, so I was I was driving by. I was trying to uh, I was trying to do some digging into that that dude that showed up and bought all that booze. Mm -hmm. uh, so I pulled, I, I, I ran your, I mean, I had the, uh, the ALPR pop your plate. I thought it was for his Paragon. Um, but for some reason, whenever I came back around this time, your plate hit as unregistered. But whenever I looked it up, it is registered. So just keep in mind that that, that, that bug is happening. So you might get stopped. Somebody might stop you and be like, oh, it's not registered. So just thought I'll let you know. All right. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, Sounds I, like I buggy maybe... ALPRs. Yeah, sometimes if the vehicle was registered very recently, it'll still pop it. Um, or yeah, if your license that... was issued today, it also doesn't. Does, um, doesn't it take like an actual day um, I think for so. those to like yeah. register, even if it is registered? Yeah, so like if it was registered, if it was entered in the system recently, it'll take a full day before anything will happen. So, so like if I registered my Hellfire like 20 minutes ago, it'll flag as yeah. unregistered. Yeah, even if it is. So just just keep that in mind. I just thought I'd let you guys know because I was like, huh? I'm, I'm like, I just had this plate up. What the hell? Right, right. Yeah, because yeah, I thought, so... I, yeah, I thought he was driving a Paragon that was registered to a Landstalker. I was like, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue. So, oh, there's yes, this, uh, there's this lady again. So I registered the car. I would say about a month ago. Um, uh -huh. I could be wrong, but Consuela. Yeah. Yeah, just just keep it in mind though. It, it's a bug that I just witnessed, so I figured I'll let you know. All right, thanks. No worries. Do you need what, anything else? No, no, no. I just I just wanted to come in. Consuela, what are you doing? Yeah. I clean, yes. You, no, you you have to apply like the lady told you last time. Housekeeping. You're, oh, we're doing this again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it! Oh Jesus. Oh no! You need fresh towel. Housekeeping. You want pillow? <laughs> Fresh mint? Fresh mint for pillow? I got it. <laughs> no, no, the real, the real question. Do you want a popsicle? You can tell she's losing her accent because she's laughing. <laughs> I have big popsicle. Yeah, I'll show I you, I show you a popsicle. popsicle. I just shut up a little bit. You know what? Have at it. Clean the windows. I don't even care. Huh? My little son, Diabito. He is seven. You right. take care of him, yes? You be his dad? Your son, Diabito? Yes, he's seven. He overweight. I... You take care of him, yes? I am 20 years old. We be a family, yes? Sure, but does this I'm... constitute as harassment? I'm 16. What? You're 16? <laughs> but what? No. I am 23. Oh. Uh, it do, well, okay. A lot of things can constitute as harassment, but if you want someone to leave the store, you just say, "Hey, can you leave the store?" If they don't, we can trespass them. That's about it. Well, I'm trying to be. To I'm trying to be because nice I'm bad here. girl. Yes. Okay. What's that? I can't hear. What hey, you, you know I what I think? You're going, I, to, I, you're going to cuff me up because I'm bad girl. Yes. No, I'm mm. not gonna. Mm. But I don't even want to put my hands. Arr, next to you. Okay. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, please don't do that. That's like. Close All right, Consuelo, you you wrestling. you have a good day. Yes, Anyways, bye bye, Trooper. Uh, have a good day. Can I get okay, a receipt goodbye. in the back? Yep. No. Did you say, no? You you gotta go. I I th clean. There's a job across the street. Oh, okay, over here, I clean. No, you can't. Dude, I love the, the jam up in this. Like, you guys hear that music up in the? Or is that just me? I think it's just you. I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's just uh, you. Damn. I go song. really low. All right, partners. You don't need to if clean. You guys You're anything, not hired. No, no, I go very low. Listen. What? <laughs> this shit's funny. All right, I'll leave. Yeah, I'll I, see you, it. You, you just take her for me. 
you want her kicked out? Is that what you're saying? Just for right now. Okay. No. Why is it super I do easy? not go. All right, ma'am. Go ahead and leave the store. They mom. asking you to leave the store. No, they, they ma'am. Oh my god. It's <laughs> just every every fucking time, dude. Hey, ma'am. No. Ma'am. Just leave no. the store. No Please. means no. Yes, I'm saying yes. No, sir. no means no. They want you out of the store, ma'am. Do not touch me. I can't even put my hands just, next to you, ma'am. Just shut up a little bit. Walk the store. Thank you. Shut Have a great up. day. Thanks for shopping here. And okay, you'll probably be back. I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to be nice to her because she ain't got no money. You want money her trespass? No, no. Not right now. Is she trying to buy something? Like, no, I'll she, pay it. She, she's trying to work. Oh. <laughs> but she won't fill out the application. All she wants yeah. to do is clean and go home with somebody to have a family. And that's not how yeah. this works. You should have handed her an application, you know. I actually used to work at the 24-7, you know, before I joined SHP. Right. Well, that's that's a step up. So yeah. we, we are, are, the owner was, she oh, not. she backs up into my car. The owner met, mm -hmm. met her at the 24-7 uh, up there in the county in Sandy and yeah. tried, tried to help her out. And she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to apply. She, she just, just spit on my car. Sense. Hey. You want some of these, yes? I, you, you think I didn't see that? You you want some of these, yes? Why don't you step out of the car, huh? I, I'd be good wife, yes. No, I don't want you spitting on my Hellcat. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Here's, here's, the, here's, the, real, here's the real question. Here's the real question. You don't I have a place. Floor. You, you don't have a place to sleep, but you're driving this. No, no, I have money. I just don't have house. Well, buy a house. No, no, I have no money. No, no but, what? I buy lots of uh, lemon pledge. But, but okay, all right. Hey. <laughs> God no, no, not even. Okay, what the hell was not, that? Not even. Get up. Not even. <clears throat> I uh, I need seventy five cents to buy newspaper. You give. Did you just nearly run him over? No. He fall. There. Okay, I buy a newspaper. There we go. I got 19 of your 40 ounces. 19 of them, huh? Yeah, 19 out of 20. Well, I appreciate you leaving us one of them. Yeah, let me go get it. Hmm. How much is 20 of those? Let me get in my head. They're four ninety nine a piece, so do that by twenty. So five times twenty is a hundred. Chill out there with the attitude. Uh, you chill out with the attitude. You chill out with the attitude. I don't have to sell you anything. Well, I'll I'll slap the tattoo off your eyebrow. Tattoo on my. Eye. Are you There's... looking to get shot today? Is there not a tattoo on your eyebrow? No. Oh, <laughs> your eyebrows are just really red. My bad. He just completely glazed over the fact that I said, are you looking to get shot today? There you go. You're $10 short, my man. Am I? Yeah. You said 100 right? Yeah, you gave me 90 I gave you 100 It says 90 on my on my screen here. I went up one too far. Hold on. There, there we go. 100? Yep, you're all set. All Have an right. LTD day, sir. Fuck your LTD day. Oh, well, fuck oh. You. I like the 24 7 day better. Well, you can have one of those too. I'm insulted to the highest. That's that's totally fine. Oh, we'll see how your tires like it. Oh, is that a threat? I, he better not slash my tires. He knows what happens to people who slash my tires. He knows better. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Always oh, slashing the 24 7 tires. He slashed the tires to the 24-7 pickup, I think. What up, big dog? Don't even start that shit with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not in the mood for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? I said yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Just give me a quick... Wow. Bye.
this this bitch, dude. Yep. Oh my god, I'm bleeding out, dude. <laughs> <sighs> oh, come on, get over here. I just wanted pizza. Are you okay, Yoni? I just come back. You're on the ground. I got shot. I need help. Well, I see that yet. Help. I just came in for a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I just came in for a pizza. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Grove Street LTD. <laughs> Can I get some help over here, please? I'm bleeding out. Yeah, I'll get you in a second, man. All right, guy on the right. Walk back slowly to sound my voice. Okay. You're right on my right. I'm so confused. I think he's talking to you. No, he's talking to me. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Stop. Get on your knees. Once he's in custody, uh, I'll get the other guy, in the, uh, the other guy on his oh, knees. I'm pretty sure I'm kneeling in blood right now. That's where you are. You got your knee in my face. Oh, it's on your knee. Right, get up. One detained. Uh, crossing. I don't know, some dude came in and bought 20 40 ounce bottles of beer and then told me to go F myself and I told him he better watch who he's talking to and he's doing burnouts in the parking lot and spinning cookies and he pulled a gun, I pulled a gun and he shot me first. Uh, my gun is actually... He's not one of these guys that's here, right? He, he no, no, left. no, no, no. He left in like a Bentley looking thing. He was wearing a black shirt and like pajama bottoms. Hey, Vinewood unit, you're actually kneeling next to my gun. And what was the color? The color of the, the car? car? Uh, I think it was a blackish gray. What? All right, Del Perro, what, what are you? Del Perro. Oh, well, you're kneeling next to my, my pistol. It's on the ground right, right there. Do you have any wounds? Man, no, they'll accept three. I when I heard the gunshots. Right. Our sub is going to be outstanding. Unknown male. Black uh, top. Pajama bottoms and a right. black. Bentley style vehicle. vehicle uh, GOA two to three ago. Why is ten sixty. Uh, Yo, ATTF AT guy. Here's his pistol. Uh, give it, give it to Alani. She'll take it. I'm not investigation. It's been warrant, but I can take it. Yeah, give me it. I just, I don't care who touches it. I'm just busy. Give me it. Who has it? I, I have it. Here it is. Hey, Yo. he's conscious. He got shot in the right leg through and through with plant tourniquet now. Okay, how's it going, sir? I've been better. Yeah, it looks like you picked the wrong place to work today, huh? I, I, I guess so. That's me All every right. day. My name is Firefighter Paramedic Allen. I love other paramedics joining me here shortly. Where's that uh, gunshot at there, boss? It's in my thigh. My right thigh. All right. Did you uh, did you win? Did you get the other guy? No, no. He he was Damn. acting a fool in the parking lot. We both pulled on. He well, he pulled a gun. I pulled a gun, and I fired three rounds and I missed. And he shot me once in the leg. Oh, so what you're saying is you'd go back to the gun range? Yeah, apparently. That's, that's, that's... Oh, what's up, Matt? Um, this Yo, is, they did, uh... did they shoot the LTD guy? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking. This, he's fucking. They said his coffee control, prices dude. are too high. These guys are out of control, dude. All right, he's got one one through and through to the thigh there. He's doing pretty yeah, good. They got a tourniquet up above there, there, and they got some uh, gauze oh, shoved in there. So I got my rookie here. He's oh, taking he's taking over. Yeah, what, what's your first name, boss? Did you see much? Cody. From like through the windows? Cody. Or... All right, Cody. You're in good hands here. All right, boss, I'm going to let this uh, probe you. First day. Oh, God, first I'm going to die. Yeah. Oh, You're all right, first, man. First call ever. I'm going to die. He passed the EMP exam in the first try, though, so he's, he's oh, somewhat good. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, they was open book, so uh, I mean. Make a visual statement about what your uh, weapon is. All right. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't hear shit. No, you're good, man. I got a firearm returning to, to a Cody oh, Dutton. Yeah, that's our victim. Uh, that guy's idea. Right, right, okay, right. so he has three fought rounds I, missing. I, I know who this guy is because I literally just pulled him over like five minutes ago, so I know who the guy's back in my car is too. Yeah, what's good? Alright, I have his firearm. I'll take it if you want. So okay. It looks like it's going to be a separate event. Can you drive us a separate Robin? event for this uh, shooting here? Oh, I thought you were going to uh, give me his gun. DLT and attach all the answers were on it. No. I got it. I can handle it. 
All right. Am I okay to hop out then? Well, I'll, I'll get to dig down one quick second. Um, so so you did so you just uh, get your shit in here real quick. I just came to get a pizza for dinner. All right. So why? Tell me what happened. So, so I, I was pulling up. I parked my car next to that black, like four by four over there in the corner. Uh, oh, it looks like he's getting uh, getting he's losing a lot of blood here. Car, like, red, where where red you red shot red. at, sir? My uh um, shit, my my I'm losing I'm losing my thought process here. Okay, okay. I can get to my right upper thigh. Let's get right upper thigh on that. Yep, grab that. Hey. Hey, is the uh, LTD guy awake? You guys, I got a name off. Oh well, well, he he's about to die. So if you wanna just give us a second here. Okay. So you went northbound. Put him on Leo hold for me. The road close to us or the other one across the road. Oh, I mean, if he lives, put him on Leo hold for me. Okay. Sure. Okay, sir. So, did you fire your firearm at all? I did. Okay. Was well, it happen to be a Glock style pistol? It was. <laughs> How many rounds did you fire? I fired three. <laughs> is it in is it in your policy that you are allowed to have your firearm on duty or uh, on um on location? Uh yeah, we are allowed to carry, especially at the uh, Grove Grove Street location. Okay. Can you give me a quick rundown of what happens? So this guy walks in, he buys a twenty bottles of you know, twenty forties. Um and then he's just, he's being real lippy at the counter and, and whatever, and tells me that I better watch myself. And walked out, and he's like, I, I feel, he's like, I'm fucking offended. And I was like, I, okay, sorry. And then he walked outside and got in his car and backed up real close to my car, started doing burnouts and donuts in the parking lot, driving erratic. And I go outside, and he's like, what's good? I said, nothing, I'm just watching you. He goes to drive away, and he almost hit me in the process. And because he almost hit me, I, I did draw my firearm. He got out of his car, pulled his, pointed it at me, and that's when the shots were exchanged. Okay. And what the male looked like? He was a, a whiskey mic, black hair, black shirt, uh, checkered style, pajama bottoms, and a black... Like, it was either dark gray or black Bentley-style vehicle. Okay. Um, okay, but just sit tight for me. I'm going to contact uh, somebody here real quick, right? So you feeling all right? Uh, the pain meds are wearing off, so I'm hurting a little bit. But ah, they gotcha. said they said I can't have no more that I can get more meds at Bolingbrook. Hmm. Well, I was like, well, that's that's reassuring. Thank you for that. And what was your coworker's name again? Uh, which one? Is it is it like a Mr. Armstrong? There's a Mr. Armstrong, and then there's William. I don't remember his last name. They're, I think they're both managers. William, the old guy? No, no, he's not old. Are you talking about Henry? No. Oh. But uh, were you just working with like a less Armstrong? I was. Okay. Yeah, nobody on that on the at the gas station shot the man who shot then took off. Actually, I think I, I think he gave me his idea at one point. I'm trying to see if I can remember his name. Are you friends with Les Les Armstrong? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're buddies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's up with uh, what's up with Les? Is he in trouble? Yeah. Well, um, I had a trooper come up to me, and uh, apparently Les had a firearm on him, and uh, Les has a uh, about three weeks ago or so, Les actually got a felony. Oh, great. And uh, having a firearm is illegal when you have a felony. Really. Uh, you can't even hold one. If you're a felon, you cannot even hold a firearm. You cannot okay. be in possession. So I got a misdemeanor. I got a question for you, officer. Okay. I got two questions for you, actually. Uh, okay, bring it. Well, well, the first one is, who doesn't have a felony in this town except for Leo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good question. It seems like a lot of people that you run into nowadays. I mean, I guess it's some... Pretty much the people that uh, you know decide to move here for some reason from Liberty City are the ones that uh, that don't. But I know a guy who has like seventeen felonies. Really? Yeah, his name's Johnny Bryan. That's uh, that's uh, that. No, I know that name. 
<laughs> and I'm sure it rings a bell. <laughs> yep. I was uh, working with a different department one time and pulled him over and uh, made a little joke with him on the side of the road. That was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. He he told me about that. Yeah. Told, that's, I told that's him the... that his, uh, he, he said his record was clean. I was like, yeah, it's about as clean as it can be for a dumpster fire. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> I remember him telling me that. That's the other yeah. thing is, uh, uh, that was my second question. I thought maybe you knew somebody or, or had a relative in the county because you sound like a deputy I've run into. Yeah, I kind of uh, like I, I volunteer at a, at a few different ones. So I work for PD and and uh, the main the main uh, company I work for is going to be uh, I mainly work for Blaine County Sheriff's Office. But you know, oh well, double dipping. I see. Got to get that OT. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. got to make got to make money somehow, right? Right, right. Yeah, what I'm doing isn't working. I've been shot twice working at the uh, Grove Street LTD there. Yeah, that's. Uh... I had to get Might be better just pay. going up the road and going to uh, go work at the one up there on uh, was it Innocence? Oh, eight fifty there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that one. I'm gonna keep it real. I mean, I don't know if it'd be any better earlier today. Someone stole bread from there, so I don't know if it would have been any better. People just be stealing. They do. They just do it, and they think they, a lot of people think they can just get away with things, but no one's faster than a radio. Am I right? That's true. It's very true. I don't know. There's been a couple of people that were just absolutely taken off before. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know where they're going. Yeah, it's just dead. Not worth it at that point. Right. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought that whole situation was going to go a different direction until I was uh, bleeding out on the, on the uh, asphalt there. You made, made it through surgery and everything. They took care of you and you're going to, you're going to be all right. You'll be able to walk yeah. just fine. Unfortunately, I'm going to, I'm going to survive. Ah, God. Yeah. Uh, yep. 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 Uh -huh. I've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, I mean, it's usually a, it's usually a comment my dad says a lot. But, oh, yeah, I, I that that's he, a he whole says, vibe. He, yeah, he says, uh, you know, with he's like, you know, like, I, uh, with me, I probably have a heart attack, and with my luck, I'll probably survive. <laughs> that's that's a vibe. I feel that. <laughs> Tell you what, this uh, this wound hurts hurts like a son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, you were scratching your neck like a dog. Like I was just making sure. Oh, you're I'm trying okay. not to scratch the stitches. So I'm focusing my scratches elsewhere. Anyways, oh, got gotcha. you. I could be. Sc Never mind. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Please, somebody speak. This is awkward. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh God. He finally just got an investigator now. At this point, I'm done. <laughs> so what happens here? Well, I'm hurry. The lead wants the investigator to talk to you. So you might have to wait here for the investigator to arrive or head down the station away the station. Or I could just sit here and scratch my balls. Me. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Somebody hit a fire up. hydrant. Someone definitely did. I can hear that. Probably flooding the parking lot. I, well, I mean, yeah. I, you're, the ball's in y'all's court, so I'm I'm chilling. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably not the best thing to say after you just said you were going to be scratching your balls. You do put the ball in our court. <laughs> I, I mean... I, do you have anything else for uh, Mr. Itch over here? No, but apparently Lincoln uh, 73 wants the investigator to talk to him. Okay. Oh, I'm, I just want well, that. I'm gonna cut him loose and just tell him to get in. Tell him to broken to cat for information. Only guy. Well, I know we just talked, had that whole conversation about avoiding Grove Street, but I gotta go get my car. Okay. Do you need a ride back? That would be amazing. All right. Come on. First time I sat in the passenger seat of a uh, police car. Like in the front? Well, I've never been in one. I've never been in a police car before? No. Yeah, it's not all it's uh, cracked up to be. If anything, it's a little cramped because we have the computer and then the back seats are a little bit less because What's of this the cage deal? and everything. 
No, don't, don't. Oh, sorry. Don't hit, don't. My, my, my bad. That's only for calls to service. Just don't sit, don't press any buttons. I don't want to have to put you pull over and put you in the back seat. Okay. All right. I won't touch anything. Oh, not. Do, do not use the PA system. Okay, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to get arrested. <laughs> <clears throat> hey Vine, would you want to race? Whoop whoop whoop. I will spill up your ass. <laughs> She's threatening me. Alrighty guys, so as you can tell, we we got picked up from the hospital. Uh, we're actually getting a ride back to the car at the Grove Street LTD. We are not getting arrested. I genuinely had no idea. I don't even recall having a felony on this character. L legitimately, no felony. Like, I, I just flat out don't remember. I'm trying to process, like, the streams and stuff through my head. I don't remember getting arrested and jailed. Obviously, it's the, 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 the charges are there in the framework and on the CAD and stuff. The, it's there, but I just don't... I, I, I don't remember that ever happening. So, um... They, they went ahead and they, they chalked it up as a, uh... As a software issue, the investigator is supposed to talk to me. The investigator never showed up, uh, and the units just said, "All right, well, All right, we are going to go through this. I just got attached to a call, so I'm going to get you there real quick, and then uh, I got to take off." Okay. Well, thanks for the ride. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so, um, we're just chalking it up as a loss. Well, I'm chalking this up as a win. The Leos are just chalking it up as a software issue or some kind of problem. And all right, thank you. Oh, yep. Nope. So yeah, that's where we're at with things, and uh, we're gonna be back at the Grove Street LTD. And we're gonna see what other ac activities we can get ourselves into. Okay, man, what the hell happened? Okay, so this. this... What is going on? Because I kind of came into this shit show, and there's cops everywhere, and more cops coming still. And... So this guy and showed happened? up. This guy showed up in a Bentley. He came in and he bought. 20 bottles of the 40 ounce beers over there he came up to me and he was like you need to watch your fucking attitude and i was like i'm sorry that you feel that way and he's like yeah i'm i'm fucking offended and i was like uh okay and he started coming at me so i, I said you know what buddy how about you go fuck yourself and then he went outside he got in his car he backed his car up pretty close to mine started doing burnouts in the parking lot then was just doing drifts and donuts around the pumps and everything i got out i went outside and he said some stuff and got real close to me with his car and I pulled my firearm. He got out of the car, pulled his firearm. I shot my firearm three times and he shot me and, and I, I had a through and through in my thigh. Are you okay? I hurt, but I'm good. Wow. And then apparently, okay. uh, apparently I had no idea, but apparently I'm a felon. Didn't know that. Um, the, cool. it was very long conversation with the law enforcement officers and they let me go on a technicality cause I don't seriously recall ever getting arrested for a felony. I mean, except we would have seen in your record when we hired you. I don't remember any of that. Exactly. I know I'm not, I'm not sure how I've been in town for like three weeks and have a felony. Maybe they have you confused with someone else. Um, unless there's another Cody Dutton out there, I don't know. Crazy. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Someone show me some CCTV, please. Yep. Come on into the back office here. Let me let me get out of your way. Oh, there goes my knee. Oh, give me a minute. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Dutton, so my name is Senior Deputy Cameron with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigation Division. Um, I do need to take a statement off of you at some point, mm -hmm. um, but for now, I must inform you that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be the in the court law. I have the right to an attorney. If you can under the Ford attorney, you will be appointed to you by the state. Uh, if you could go around, ahead and turn around and place your hands behind your back, you are under arrest at this time for a sure. weapons discharge violation and uh, burnishing a firearm. I'll get into it a little more shortly. I just need to get you into custody and then I'll take your side of the story. But based on the CCTV, you're currently under arrest. I was already... This was already handled, man. For fuck's sake. Uh, you went to hospital, yeah? But you haven't yeah. been arrested then, or charged. The LEO units that were at the hospital were talking to me about this whole thing. And then they said, you're dismissed. 
an investigator will most yeah. likely talk to you. But they, yeah, I must, I must say, Morax recovery, man. I've never seen anybody. I mean, you, you feeling I'm all on, right? I'm on a shit ton of pain meds. I bet you are. I mean, you got shot in the leg what, like two hours ago? Yeah, doing all, amazing. Okay. Um, well, I am that said investigator, and I've conducted my investigation, and based on the CCTV that I've seen. Um, so I'm not allowed to defend myself. defend myself. Okay. The issue that we've got is someone was doing burnouts on your forecourt, okay, and flipping the bird, and you pulled a firearm on them. He almost just hit me with his car. Did you miss that part? Uh, uh, so instead of just retreating and calling number one, you produced a firearm, which is, which is, you know. That, All right. That's, well, I'm going to exercise my right to shut the fuck up then. Okay, nice. So self-defense would be if he produced a firearm on you first, and then you produced a firearm. However, just doing burnouts on the forecourt and flipping you off, that's, that's you know, that, that's where you call 911 and say, hey, come get this dick out of my forecourt. Okay. Uh, do you have anything on you I need to know about? No, it was already taken off of me. All right, All right. the firearm was uh, already seized. I don't. Everything was taken off me. I don't have any of my belongings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll do my best to arrange for you to get your belongings back at, um, and make sure they go with you, um, except for the, obviously the firearm. Just going to pat you down for my safe. Once he's in custody, we're going to do break the crime scene down. Uh, yeah, mate, you're good to go ahead and uh, break right. your uh, body broken mine down. So, um, okay. yeah, go for it. Car, okay, Mr. Come Dutton, on. if you could just come this way. Just going to have you take a seat here. Uh, and I'll be with you in just a moment. So as you guys can tell, we're now in the back of a cruiser. Because I got shot at. I did pull my firearm first, but... Like, I, 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 I don't even... I don't even I don't even have any words, man. I was this was already handled at the hospital earlier. And now he's gonna arrest me. I'm not saying anything to this dude. Okay, Mr. Dutton, my intention was to take you back to the station and interview and get you outside the story, obviously, you know, for you know, before I push the charges through and, and send it all to court. Um her exercising your right to remain silent. So uh if you don't wish to be interviewed, that's fine. No, nope, I'm good. Okay, no, it's just thought I'd give you the option. Okay, Mr. Dutton. Yep. So your yep. charges are going to be uh, aggravated assault, aggravated... which is a felony, brandishing a deadly weapon, which is a felony, and a weapons discharge violation, which is a misdemeanor. Aggravate... I'm satisfied that you don't have a felony on your record currently, and that you do have a CCW aggravated and assault? a registration for your firearm. So there won't be any charges in relation to those. However, if you are found guilty in court, uh, your CCW um, and firearms permit will be revoked because there are felonies on there. Uh, but it still has to go to court and everything first, okay? All right. All right, so Candy should be here to take you away very, very shortly. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully next time you meet to be on better circumstances. All right, everybody. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode of DOJRP. Jumping in here as Cody Dutton with a 24-7 slash LTD convenience stores. I hope you guys enjoyed. There was a lot of stuff going on, and I got a little irritated towards the end with getting arrested. I completely forgot that I even had a felony. It is what it is. Uh, we, we now have two more felonies uh, because I, I I actually, I like I said, I completely spaced that I even had the felony and I went in to, to look at it. Had no recollection of it at all and I actually ha I removed that felony and then I remembered, oh no, I actually do have a felony from that night in the county when I shot that Uzi as people who stole my car but no fear or we have two more felonies i don't even know why i got aggravated assault when he shot at me with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of dojrp i hope you guys enjoyed you guys take care have a great night we will catch you next video